Hello there everybody and welcome to Dicey Dungeons. This is going to be our Saturday series. It's a bit of a throwback, um, but I'm always wanted to play this on YouTube, so I actually haven't played much of this myself. I've gone through the tutorial at the moment, and even though it's a three-year-old game, I've specifically saved it up so that if I was to ever do it on YouTube, I would make sure I played it. So we're going to start off as the warrior today. Um, we're going to start with him nice and easy. We only have the one option here, which you can see I won because of the tutorial. It jumps you straight in there. Oh, let's have a look. Lady Luck, let's give a big hand for the warrior, my favorite contestant of all. Perfect. So as you can see here, we're a little dice. We've got our health bar, our gold, the number of dice that we can roll each round and when we can level up. And we've got some starting equipment, which just happens to be a sword where we're going to roll some dice. We're going to roll our two dice and we can place it in uh, these equipment slots over here. And we'll um, just take it from there. So here we go. You can see this is our enemy. He's weak to ice, which is quite good. And we have our special ability that the warrior has. The combat roll allows us to re-roll the dice to try and get a bigger number or a lower number depending on how we feel. So we managed to get our five, so we'll place it into the sword here, dealing five damage to him. Now, when he eventually hits us, and he probably will, oh well, we didn't, um, we've got a fury bar here, which everyone has got their own special ability. But every time you get hit, so you can see if we get hit in uh, for eight hit points, uh, we'll be able to gain fury, which will double our next action, which is pretty cool. Uh, and every one of the contestants has their own ability. Oh, well, you did roll an even this time. Nice. Very low, though. Which is perfect. So, combat roll. See if we get a bigger one. So, the burn here, it sets the dice on fire. And it's going to cost us two in order to set it out and use it. Now, the good thing is, if we take this, you can see that our fury has gotten closer to being able to use it. So, we'll re-roll this. We'll just use the five. And he's been defeated. Get ourselves gold, one experience. And we unlock a chest, which allows us to have an additional item. So the shovel here, again, similar to the sword, is a blank. But when you put a six in here, it does a weaken. Which, pretty much as it says on the tin, it kind of weakens the uh, one of the random equipments. Uh, which can sometimes really help you out. So we've got two abilities now. So we're going to re-roll here, try and get... Something slightly higher. Oof. That wasn't good. Doesn't really matter in th which way to do it in that particular way. The slime does poison damage. That's okay. Similar. Just damage over time. Here you go. We'll do the one weaken. And I'll actually end the turn so we can show you uh, what happens. So you can see it needed an even. Now it needs a six. So it makes it a bit harder for them to get. And um, we're not going to use our Fury because we're going to save it for um, uh, if we need it. So we've leveled up. It means our health goes back up and we get an extra dice in this particular case. And we'll go over to the next floor. So you can see here we've got six floors. The sixth floor is usually the boss. Um, so we're going to have a look. These. This is the exit, the shop. And obviously we know the... Um, equipment that we can pick up here and then we've got an apple which will restore our health generally we want to try and make sure that we've always got an apple to hand but not the best floor so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful with what we got here but the good news is we got plenty of dice that we can re-roll oh that's brilliant okay so we can do a fury place it into the shovel and that's actually gonna apply to weaken which is brilliant. And you can see he's got his two here. So whatever he puts in there isn't going to do any damage to us, but it is going to weaken us, which is a bit awkward. But that's fine. You can roll this. Hope for a six. No luck, unfortunately. And then we kill him. So we took no damage there, which is pretty nice. But we'll go into a fight without a fury. So I think here I'm just going to try and take... I'm going to take the Marshmallow. I think that would be quite easy. You can have a look at his moves. So if he rolls an odd, he can freeze one of our dice. Or if he rolls an even, he can 
uh, burn one of our dice. So we've got to be a bit careful. Reroll. Wow, okay. So we're going to take some damage, which is fine. Because we're going to heal up after this fight as well. So our fury is nearly ready. Up. I mean, I'm happy just to do that amount of damage to him. Nice and consistent. Good thing about him not rolling an odd and an even is we don't take as much damage. So you can see that dice got frozen. What it means is it takes the highest dice that you've rolled and reduces it down to a one. Which doesn't really matter for us because we can just re-roll it. Uh, into something a little bit higher. We'll get him next time. And we'll keep our fury so that we can use it on the wizard fight. Never lucky. There we go. Maximum health increase. We get a new reward. Spike shield on even turns, it does damage. On odd turns, it does shield. The boomerang, you can see this is slightly larger. It takes two slots. The boomerang only takes one. You do two times the dice you put in there, but you deal that damage back. I'm going to take that, actually. Bump. Allows us to bump up the dice value, which is really nice when you've got something like the shovel and you want to get that six. So we're going to go straight into the wizard. All right, little wizard. So he's got one dice. Uh, he's got one dice, which he'll be able to put in here, uh, which we'll see in a second. Let's re-roll, see what we get. A five, so we can bump that up. Um... What do we want to do here? Don't really want to take damage if I can help it. Uh, something a little bit better. I'm going to leave it at that. So he's rolled a one. Okay. Did five damage and froze one of our dice. Nice. So we could use our fury and we probably should. To be fair, we'll bump that up. We can Fury that. And then we'll just do a little bit of damage to ourselves, which will stack up our Fury for next time. Because remember, we do have an Apple as well. So we can take that. And then we can have a look here. So the Broadsword is definitely better than what we've currently got, which is this. There's an additional two damage. Could always get a claw for some poison if we have a low value. Or target shield, just add two shield. I mean, we have five gold, so let's buy the claw and the shield. Uh, that sword's generally better. I like the boomerang, I won't lie, but let's go for some poison. That could be nice. Okay, so let's have a look here. We've got the pirates, the haunted jar block in our way. Either one that we defeat will gain access to two apples, a upgrade, and a shop. Um, we're going to level up in five. So we want to kind of defeat these two. All right, let's go for the pirate first. Because I think the haunted jar is strong against poison. So we want to be a bit careful there. Okay, let's bump that one up. I want to see if I can get a six, but I don't think... Okay, we got a six, but now we can't do anything with the five. Oh, no. I should have just settled for a five. Okay, we take a bit of damage there. That's no problem. If we can kill him next turn, that would be fantastic. Okay, I'm just going to re-roll. So that will do seven. Let's bump that a bit. Okay, so that does eight. That does three. And that does two. Perfect. Nice clean win. And then I think since we've got such high health, let's go let's go deal with the haunted jar. Strong against poison, that's fine. Main source of damage isn't poison anyway. I mean, brilliant. Oh, I mean even better. Bump that up so that we can do three damage and add one poison. 
I'm happy with that. So he's weakened. Well, that's good. It's reduced the amount that he could add in there. Blight will probably trigger next round. So, up. One more. Mm, okay. It doesn't really matter, does it? We can go like that. Into there, into there. We'll take a bit more damage. That's that's kind of fine. Because we're leveling up after this anyway. So I'm not too worried. Got our fury, so that's always nice going into the next fight. We've also saved our apples, which is great. Okay, let's have a look what's in here. Midnight tar Charm, roll two sixes. A buckler to add four shield. Or healing crystal. It would be nice to see if we can reduce some of these. Let's have a look at the upgrades. So shovel. On an even inflict weakness. Okay. Broadsword just adds an extra damage. You just... Or a bit max. Ooh. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Let's let's go see what's in this chest first, uh, and then we'll take it from there. So she's got a lot. So do one damage, get a new dice. Deal fire damage, burn one dice. Okay, but you've only got two dice, so that's fine. You can bump this one up. We can Fury to inflict two weakness. I think that's fair. Let's roll, see if we can get a three. There we go, perfect. And we should kill her next turn pretty easily. Minimum of a four. Yeah, so she's gonna pop it in there. That weakness did help. Okay. Trying to see. Do we take this damage? I think we do. And the reason for that is we do have the apples on the floor. So we're getting closer and closer to our fury. Uh, let's have a look what's in here. Bump, another bump. Take this, take this. Okay. Oh, we haven't got enough gold for Midnight Charm. That would have been nice. Because we kind of need the two sixes. Um... Actually, one thing we never had a look at was in our backpack. What can we upgrade here? So boomerang do two times damage to the enemy, but only deal three damage to yourself. That's nice. Sword doesn't really matter. That's just plus one. Okay, let's upgrade boomerang. That seems fair. That seems better than claw because we can add anything into any of these. I like it. And then... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do we want a shield or do we want... I'll take a healing crystal. Just in case we find we need that. And then we'll head off to the next floor. So generally try and unlock the apple path. So we're going to go to the key master first. Key master only has one dice. And he needs to unlock... Um, all of his different abilities. But once they're unlocked, he can keep reusing them, I believe. Uh, so let's have a look here. We could do... Okay, here's, here's Big Brain, right? So we do 12 damage to him. We trigger our Fury. We pop the bump in. We then do 8 damage times 2. And we hope for a 6. A 6. Ah, so close. So close. So he's rolled a two. There we go. He unlocks it. Now it does three damage, but he can return the dice. But obviously he can't unlock anything else. Uh, we'll just... We'll just do that. Nice and clean. So the... Wolf can curse us. 
as well as poison us. So we could have taken the apple, but I think we would have wasted a little bit of extra healing. Uh, so he can add poison, curse enemy needs doubles. So weaken would be quite good for us in this particular case. So let's see if we can... Well, there we go. Uh, oh, roll something higher. Can't roll higher than that. So we'll do this. Up. Up. Okay. I'm happy with that. I was hoping... I was hoping it would get to the cursed enemy, but... He didn't roll a double, so that's fine. Okay. Let's just bump that to guarantee... The weaken. See if we can get anything higher. So we can do six. We can do six and we can kill him there. We do take quite a bit of damage from that, but... I think we'll be okay. We got the apple. So the staff, this does fire damage. Takes eight, but can do uh, quite a bit of fire damage. So we'll heal up here. I'm going to take out the shovel and I'm going to put the staff in. The reason for that is the wicker man is uh, weak to fire. So I think if we can try and burn him down uh, with that, we'll be in a good spot. Oh, actually, this is really good. So we can go bump you up. So Fury. There we go. Done loads of damage. That will do 8 damage. That will do 12 damage. Oh, well. See ya. <laughs> That's as easy as that. Turn 1 KO. This gives us another dice. Oh, it doesn't give us another dice. It allows us to upgrade. We haven't got a shield, so we can't really bash with the shield. Bump can be used twice. This does a little bit more damage. This does a little bit more damage. What have we got in the backpack? Shovel. I think I think I'm gonna upgrade bump. I think I'm happy with that. Let's see what they want to trade. Bump for a claw. So this looks like it's the bump from our backpack. The spare one for a claw. Uh, no deal. Because we're not running poison. So this is the last floor for us. So I am going to switch back to the shovel. I do prefer it. Uh, and then let's go for Aurora. So Aurora kind of controls the weather. Uh, which is pretty nice. Yeah, so she's going to inflict shock. And then she can change the weather and recover. So we definitely want to try and uh, weaken her, if possible. So we'll do a 6 there. 8 there. We want to do 10. Sure. Because we're only doing 3 damage to ourselves. So we can definitely kill her next turn. Oof. Okay. So shock is difficult because that's going to take out one of our equipment. You can see here, so we're going to have to put a dice in there in order to use it. So we could do 12. We could do 12 here. We could unlock this dice. We could then do 6. Done. There was another way we could have done it. Um, I think if you bump a 6, you can get a 6 and a 1. But... I think we're okay for the moment. There we go. We'll take the apple. See what's in our equipment. Pea shooter do two damage. I don't think we're going to use that. Upgrade equipment. Toxic ooze. Do so much damage on a six. Add two poison. I don't mind that. Or we can upgrade equipment. We can upgrade, like, loads of our equipment, actually. I wonder what the upgrade for Toxic Ooze would be. 
Not sure. Let's go for the snowman. Because then at least we have the exit to the boss if we find we need it. He's weak to fire. We should have brought the staff. But that's okay. We'll bump it. Fury. Okay. Let's do that. Seven damage. Okay. We probably should have put the higher value in there. So that's not going to do... Freeze. Oh, he's smart. He knows what he's doing. So, re-roll. So we can bump this and get an extra dice. I mean, it's not going to help us in this case, but I thought I'd just uh, show you guys. Okay, re-roll. One more. A bigger one, please. So these are our highest numbers. Okay, we can bump this up. This is our highest numbers. So we could do 6, 10 damage here. And 7 here. But we'll take 3. Which will nearly charge our fury. Okay. That's fine. Because it's a fixed damage return, we want to put our highest value in there, I think. Uh, let's upgrade. Anything here in particular we want to replace instead of... the broadsword or anything like that? I think I'd upgrade the shovel, actually. I think the weekend's been helping us quite a bit. 24 out of 40... I mean, there is an apple there if we want it. I want to try and avoid it. So let's go for the Banshee. Banshee's a bit tougher. So we can have a look at the enemy moves. Silence, freeze, curse. It's a horrible, horrible enemy. Um... We want to do as much damage as we can, as quickly as we can. So we're going to go 12 damage into the Fury, into two Weakens, into six damage. I think that's a solid turn. Please Weaken, yes. They can't curse us, which is good. Okay, re-roll. Three. That's a five into a six. Okay. Okay, we can do ten. Okay, let's just do this one first. So we can do seven. Alright, I mean, we're going to have to use the boomerang. It's fine. It charges up our fury again, like we said. Now we just need to deal with the singer. Which I think to be safe, let's just buy this apple. Just to be safe. Because we're one away from the boss, so we don't want to die here. Let's have a look. What does she do? Yeah, she does 12 damage on this high note. That's a lot, considering she's got four dice as well. So she could weaken us. Alright, I think I'm happy with this. Uh, let's re-roll, see if we get a natural 6. No. Nope. So, ready in 4 health. Since we... are going to level up after this one. I think we just do as much damage as we can. Nice. So she's not going to weaken us on that one. One weaken. I wonder what she weakened. Bump? Nope. Shovel. Okay. So 12 damage. We want to just take her out straight away. Bump. That into 8. Okay. 
Easy. Nice and easy. The warrior is pretty... Pretty straightforward. Got an extra dice that we can't do anything with. Can't buy any of those. Alright. Let's go to the bus fight, shall we? The warrior versus Madison. 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 I can't recall what she does off the top of my head. Um... I think I'm happy with the setup, you know? The thing is, there's no elemental stuff. There's there's, there's a weaken, but there's no elemental stuff. So, like, shock, freeze, or fire. Because I think she's strong against something. But hi, I'm Madison. I'm 12 years old, and I'm here to make sure you lose. Oh, no. She's not weak against anything. Okay. So, campfire. Uh, one fire damage. Burner dice. Add one each use. Ooh, that's horrible. Pocket knife do blank amount plus one damage. Three uses this turn. Chocolate cookie repeat next action. Oh, that's like our fury. Hang on. So here's a thought. Fury into boomerang. Halfway charged with our fury for next time. Okay, let's see if we can get a five. Five. Oh, there we go. Max damage. That is literally the max damage we can do. In one turn. That's good. That's a very good weekend, actually. So instead of them doing it twice, they can just use it again. So they have to waste, waste their dices. Okay. Let's see what we can get. High roll, please. Nope. Okay, I definitely want a six. And then... Let's get a high value as possible. So how about we do 10 damage, get the fury, then do two sixes, plus the weaken, into five damage. Very nice. Oh. Oh no. Double campfire. Okay, that's fine, because we can literally just boomerang her, and there we go. Congratulations, your very first victory. Am I super strong now? Well, no. But look, you're off to a great start. You've beaten a whole episode. Just 35 increasingly difficult episodes to go. Wait, what? 35? Increasingly difficult? And of course, every time you beat an episode, you get to spin the wheel. And if the wheel ends up on a star, you get to leave dungeons and take your heart desire. All right, get ready to spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. You're not chanting. Oh, sorry. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. All right, here we go. We going for the car? Ooh. Ah, bad luck. No prize this time. But never mind, there are plenty of episodes to come. Spin the wheel! Spin the wheel! Okay, stop chanting now. And there we go, guys. We've completed episode one of the Warriors Welcome. And then next time we will do the Thief, uh, which will be great. There we go, guys. I thought this was a nice little throwback. Something I've always wanted to play. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, uh, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and let me know in the comment section down below if you've played this and you've enjoyed it. But there we go, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.